You have to find the loophole. Okay, whatever Mickey is coming, you have to do something. What? Sue him. You can't just sue people for no reason. Well, all right, you can. But I'm not doing that anymore. I can't lose my office. Or the boss. I heard you on the radio the other day. You sure sounded like a horse's ass. Thank you. Oh, I've been trying to give this to Yasser. I know Yasser misrepresented the community, but please, wait, let me finish. I was hoping you'd let us stay. Because religious and racial hatred will destroy the world if men of spirituality, men like ourselves... Amar, with all due respect, shut up! I'm not evicting you. This is a new lease that reflects the true nature of your multi-purpose uh, activities. But if you plan to open up a bowling alley, give me a heads up. Thanks. But why? When the Fred Tupper Show tells me to do something, I tend to do the opposite. There was never an issue with your congregation? Come to my Sunday sermon this week. I'm lucky if I can fill the first two rows. It may have been God who said... Let there be light. But it's me that pays the electric bill. In this, the ninth month of the Muslim calendar, we are asked to examine ourselves with a critical eye. And if we can't, there's lots of people around to do it for us. I may not be the best imam in the world, but I've learned a lot about humility this week. And I've done a pretty excellent job of it, if I do say so myself. I want to gain weight during Ramadan. I'm starving. Oh, cucumber sandwiches coming through. Cucumber sandwiches. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Anne. You want a cucumber sandwich? Oh. I thought, you know, a Ramadan meal would be a little more exotic. What? Gorgeous is ready. Excuse me? Oh, what is that wonderful smell? It's tradition. And tradition always smells good. Um, <clears throat> and Mayor Popovich, I'd like to introduce our new Imam, Amar. Please meet you. Hi. My first few days in office were no picnic either. Fred Tupper kept referring to me as the she mayor. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, when I pictured you coming back to the church, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. Well, Reverend, you can't win them all. Well, if you ever change your mind, please let me know. Because I really miss these little sandwiches. Oh, I'm so glad. Mm. I'm hungry. Well, Yasser, mm. I hope you've learned that honesty is the best policy. Of course. Of course. Mm. That brings me to your salary. I'm willing to be flexible. Good, because we don't have much money. How much money? We're broke. I'm not that flexible. Well, if you must leave, I'm sure they will understand. But it seems to me you've become attached to a little religion. Why didn't you tell me before I left Toronto that you didn't have any money? I'm being honest now. Yes, sir. You have to learn the difference between honesty and emotional blackmail. And who better to teach me than you, brother-in-law? Who better? 